So for a good while now in the FGC, we've been having a debate of new school versus old school. Which time was it harder to be better at fighting games? Now you have the old school players basically saying, man, back then it was tougher. You know, we had to go in the arcades, figure stuff out. We didn't have all this internet and all this stuff, blase, blase. But now you have the new school saying that it's actually more difficult because you have so many more people with so much access to know the things that you know. The skill gap has increased not only from the information, but from from how the developers are making the game they're making it easier to get into so it's so much more that they have to deal with now you hear both sides and you kind of understand both sides but now today we've had justin wong and rob tv kind of give more so on their input on it we've heard them kind of talk about it before but this is their first time coming together that we've seen on video and actually talking about it so let's go ahead and play that clip and i'm gonna give my thoughts right now so i think it really depends on the game because I, I do think from Street Fighter Five moving forward, uh, all modern fighting games are a bit easier to understand. Mm, mm. And like you know, input leniency, uh, less different type of option selects, right? And I think that's what really helped bring up the player base. Because before, it was really hard to get into fighting games. Because like, if someone was better than you, you had no chance, no chance to beat that person. You gonna get free, yeah. But like, even with five and six, like, you don't, ha you still have no chance. But that number is higher. Like you have like a 5% chance of winning compared to older games where it's like 0% chance. You know what? It, 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 I agree with that. And I know you know better than me, but even from the stuff that I've seen, I agree with that. And it seemed, even in five to six, I think like that. Yeah. Like I think in Street Fighter Six is easier for somebody to oh, beat sure. you. A random 2000 MR could, could definitely upset a, a known top player. Yes. Like uh, I think Duel Kevin, he lost to Gentleman Thief. At Evo. Yes. Right, and Gentleman Thief is, is good. good, but like I would never expect him to beat Duel Kevin. Like, like, like Charlotte Gentleman Thief, like I said, yes, he's good. But we would not expect Gentleman Thief to qualify for EWC like Kevin just did. Yeah. But it's not at the same time the way the game is, it's not surprising for him to beat Kev. Exactly. Because of how So I agree with that. I guess my thing is that also to some degree makes me give even more credit to current players. In a sense that it's the game is to before, bro, how can I put it? I had to alert somebody had to tell me about three button OS and yeah. all this type of stuff and crop checking and somebody had to tell me when I was learning. There was no way, and it's, then to go before that, I'm sure it was worse because there was no, no internet. Yeah, there was no internet. But so there's just a knowledge gaps. It's a big knowledge gap. To yeah. me, a no, we're not even playing a game, bro. Like, we're not playing a game until I know and you know. Now, honestly, I can really understand both sides. You heard what Justin, you heard what Rob TV had to say. And, you know, Justin was basically saying it seems like he's leaning more towards it was harder back then with Rob TV still leaning towards that it's tougher now. You know, uh, one, one Rob was honest and he was kind of saying, like, look, I wasn't there. I wasn't around during that time. So it's kind of hard to understand, you know, uh, you know, how difficult stuff was. But for me, like listening to both, it just it just really depends. I think with so many different variables, I think it just really depends on how you personally look at difficulty. Like, because, for example, it's, it's definitely got to be harder back then where games, like, they didn't care about making it easier for you to get into. They didn't care about input delay. They didn't care about, you know, making stuff more accessible. The game was the game, and this was the game. And then you didn't have it to where you could go online and figure out all the tricks and the trades. You didn't have people making tutorials and all this other stuff. You, it was just literally willpower and coins for a lot of people going and just figuring it out like literal dedicated grind to be the best that you can be i mean there were little there's literally tournaments to where like john Cho and alex valle are uh, playing and alex would take like a whole tournament just because he knew something somebody else didn't that wouldn't happen in today's time like it wouldn't happen that you're doing some type of tech or something that it wouldn't have been figured out and given out to the whole world before the tournament came up so like it, it i mean by the time like the first week of the tournament is going on y'all basically figured out like 80 percent of the stuff that could possibly be used in tournaments but then also in today's time you got to understand how difficult it is because there's no longer me hiding behind certain stuff everybody knows what i know we're at the basically the same level of knowledge and at the end of the day it's you against me who's going to come out on top and i have to do that amongst thousands of people at some tournaments like evo is basically a tournament you could say with five thousand people in a street fighter tournament 
and those people probably know what you know it's, it's nothing hidden but you just have to at the end of the day be the best out of all those people so um it's it's difficult and you know i i just like i said i kind of want to lean more towards old school because like with old school it's like you had to be a different type of person there was no like just getting into this everything's handed to you you have to be a diligent type of person you have to be a, di a type of person that just when obstacles came you kept going and then just to even learn the game but to even play against other people and try to figure out what they're doing when you don't know you don't know they can know something you don't know and all that stuff you have to be a different type of individual but like a, once again with today's time it is something that to be spoken to of just like we're all on the same playing field. You just got to be better than me. You know, you really just have to be different. So I I, I want to lean more towards. It's, it's, it's really, really difficult. I, I'm still leaning more towards old school, man, because like with no knowledge, no understanding, nobody to help, nobody to figure it out. Like, and to go out and to, to I mean, for Justin Wong to do what he did in those times to win nine, uh, I think it was seven Evos in MPC two, it's just astound. It's just you just had to know he just was better than everybody. He was just better than everybody. But um, but you, I guess you could say that into the in today's time with somebody like Shao High or something like that. Even with everybody knowing what he knows, he's still winning. Like, it's just, you just not better than him. But I think for Justin to be who he was back then to consistently come out on top in so many different games in a time where it's like, it was really just you hopes and prayers if you're going, if you're going to get good. Like, I'm, I, ah, it's tough, man. I'm, I'm kind of vacillating back and forth. I'm, it's like, I'm, it's, it's hard to pick in between because they're both difficult. They're both difficult. You know, it's kind of like, you know, do the forefathers of the people now have it more? Do, do, do the people who paved the way for us to make it here have it more difficult? Or do the people who have to sustain what they built have it more difficult? You know, it's like you have respect for both, but it's just like, which one was harder? Man, like, neither one had to do what the other one did. So it's not like they did both. So you still have, like, you know, older players and stuff now that are still, like, playing and they're still beating, you know, uh, the newer players. And we don't have any examples of, like, the newer players beating the older players in the older games. So, you know, they're showing that they're good in all errors. But I don't know. I, I just still want to lean towards a time where you had to be better with no help. No type of help. No type of uh, nothing. Like, just you and some elbow grease figuring it out. And you just got to somehow be the best of the best. So... That's what I'm leaning towards. This, this video is a little bit long and I went on like a nice little rant there. But, you know, this stuff is, I mean, it's interesting. We love fighting games. So you guys let me know what y'all think in the comment section down below. Peace out.